Oh, oh God. We have to be careful on this corner, definitely. It's a truck. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 271 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. <laughs> We're here just outside the small village of El Blanco, just off of the Ruta 7, the famous Carretera Ostral road in Chile. And we've been traveling for the past couple of days with our good friend Nikos. Hola, good morning. <laughs> who we met actually back in Brazil and rode around with there. And he's actually ridden down here to come and explore this region of Chile with us. So let me show you guys where we're headed today. So I can still just about show you where we are on our Argentina map. We are right here. And today we're gonna to be continuing on the Route of Seven, up first through the town of Coyhaque before heading out onto the dirt road, up, 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 as far as we can go. Yes, today we are exploring further north along this beautiful, uh, yet sometimes challenging road. Yes, our aim is it to get as far north as we can. We don't know exactly where we end up or where we're going to camp tonight, but it will be a long day and it's already eight o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. We are. All right, time to leave camp. Bye, neighbors. <laughs> it's a pretty challenging little road to get back to the uh, bigger road. I'm gonna let uh, Nikos go first. <laughs> see how we get on. We don't really want to fall first thing in the morning. Let's see. Oh, yep, up and around the corner. Then around the other corner. Yeah. Around the other corner. Haha. <laughs> <sighs> Woo! Woohoo! Good morning. <laughs> yeah small town of El Blanco. Yes. <laughs> nice flat grassy area by the river. Oh my god, lovely. A dream. And uh, it's nice, they don't mind uh, people camping there for a night, so that's lovely. Yeah. So 33 kilometers to Coyaki. Yeah, and uh, this road in front, this is the Carretera Austral, back on the main road. And then in Koyake, we can have some breakfast. <laughs> wow, that looks so cool here. Riding in between the rocks here and having as well snowy mountains in the back. <laughs> Amazing. Bienvenidos at Coyhaque. If you want to go rock climbing in Coyhaque, they've got you covered. <laughs> Cliffs for everyone. Pizza for breakfast? <laughs> Pizza? 
Yes. Yes. But actually, it's like bread and cheese, just in a different form. <laughs> there you go. The perfect breakfast. Okay, so we're just leaving Koyake. Oh, oh no, no. is it starting a dirt road already? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> Whoa! Give me a heart attack. For a second, really? Oh yeah. my god. I think we're both traumatized from yesterday, <laughs> hey. Jesus, we were both like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> and today Nikos has been saying like, oh no, no ripio, like no dirt road, asphalta, please. Yes. Let the gods of the road be kind to us. The road god, please be kind to us. <laughs> <laughs> so we stayed a little bit too long. I think we were a little bit too relaxed in Koyake. Uh, you know, we stopped at a cafe, a beautiful little cafe actually. It's actually run by the church, which it's actually a part of. And they just had amazing coffee and our pizza breakfasts. <laughs> and then we went grocery shopping and uh, we bought a new iPhone cable. We filled up our bikes. And you know what? We uh, surprisingly met Anis and Glenn in town as well. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really cool. We had to chat with them as well for probably an hour. Yeah, we so. had no idea they were in town. And then I was at the grocery store, and then suddenly I walk out, and Agnes was right in front of me, coming into the grocery store. And uh, I thought those guys had hitchhiked their way way up north already. But no, apparently they stayed in Koshran for a while. And then we passed them, and now they've come and uh, got to the same place as us at the same time. That's bloody awesome. Now it's nearly three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> And we have a long way to go! Oh, it's our first tunnel here in Chile! <laughs> yes! Whoa! Cool! If only there was just a nice cool tunnel all the way to Colombia. Wow, it's so green around here. And we were like in the middle of the desert just a couple of days ago, so man, the change is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, look at this Jurassic Park style or what? So cool. It's just stunning the whole way through. It's just like really nice, windy and green. And then you have open views sometimes where you can see rocky hills. It's really impressive. So I think we have to talk about moving to Chile now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Unbelievable. Santiago, 1,639 kilometers. Yeah. This is where we're heading. Yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Man, I love it. I absolutely love it here. Bienvenidos a Manuales. Yes, gracias. Muchas gracias. Uh, William. William. William, William. We traveled a hundred miles so far today, but to be honest, at the petrol station that we were just at in that little town, uh, we stopped there for quite a while as well. So I think today has just been quite a relaxed day. 
to be honest. <laughs> yes. You know, there was a lot of bikers arriving and you're having a chat with some bikers. And then as soon as they're like, oh, I'm heading off, then some more bikers are coming in and, they're, and you're chatting about your bikes and your trips and stuff. And you could probably stay there the whole day and just a biker would be constantly coming in every 10 minutes and you just chat to them. <laughs> yes, because it is already 5.30 and we have just traveled 100 miles. So, yeah. oh my God, it's not very, very far going today. We've got sunlight for at least the next four or five hours. So we yeah. have plenty of time. So we'll continue on and see how far we get. So after 143 miles, we are now back on a dirt road. We have run out of tarmac and uh, we just entered the Keilat National Park. I think that's the name, the Keilat National Park. And we've come up to quite a high altitude actually. Uh, I can feel the air temperature has gone down nearly 10 degrees since we were down in the valleys and uh, we're getting much closer to these snowy peaks all around from flying along in the valleys to uh, sort of bumbling along in the mountains oh, yeah <laughs> Oh man. Oh, and this crazy cyclist. <laughs> oh, there's another bike packer. Wow. Yeah, sweet. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Oh, a third. oh and another one. Man, that's Woo. a climb. Jesus, yeah, that's a climb. Yeah. Oh. oh, God. That was, yeah. We have to be careful on these corners, definitely. Yeah, I hit a rock. Yeah. Oh, it's a truck. Whee! <sighs> Sounds like that you have fun. I do. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not gravel, for me, it's all good. It's true. Yeah, it's true. It might be bumpy, but yeah, <laughs> it's not slidey. Yeah. Um. Oh. Yes. Can't talk at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm preparing to fall. <laughs> Oi! Look at that valley as well. Woo, Jesus. Epic. This is some crazy place. It's 20 past 7 now and we found one place on I Overlander which is just a couple of miles away from here. So we decided it's a good place to check out and see if we can pitch up a tent there because it's not very easy on this road here there are not too many spots no you've got like a cliff and a cliff <laughs> yeah <laughs> actually the next one that we're going to head to first is supposed to be a spot where you have a possibility to see dolphins oh. apparently it's like a dolphin watching spot on the cliffs <laughs> i really don't know how there are dolphins around here but anyway let's see yeah look at this we've come out into a big lagoon but if there is dolphin watching here then this must be actually an inlet connected to the ocean i guess because there's no lagoon dolphins that's for sure and our spot's coming up in a minute but i mean it looks really epic here so if we can find a spot yeah, that would be brilliant. You see a camper van up there behind that <laughs> yeah. rock. And I think this is the spot. Let's see if there's any space for us. Yeah, I think this person had the same idea. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, that looks fine on an entrance. Good. Oh, some grass. Look at this. Ooh. A little bit grass. Okay, let's just pause here for a minute. Okay. It's not particularly hidden. I would you wonder if somebody would come along and tell us to go? Not 100%. So we just went like a mile more down the road from the dolphin watching spot and turned off to go and look at this uh, second spot on I Overlander, which is apparently just in here. Yeah, I mean, this looks really quite nice, doesn't it? Primero or segunda? No, this one. This one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Perfect. 
Perfect. Perfect. Nice. guys we made it happy and alive Whee! yes everybody has their camp set up our tent here Nikos here and his setup behind and we're all having the best camp cooking meal you can have noodles yes. Nikos has like a box of meat what is this um, uh, it's like tomato a bit of beef some corn and this spot, I mean, on Overlander it said like concrete square just off the road, but look at this place. Oh, do you hear that bird? Really cool, really peaceful, no wind, calm, mountain views, and a really cool flat spot for the tent. I mean, perfect. Yeah, and it's like the road is on the other side of this forest here. So yeah. it's really, really calm and you can hardly hear the cars. So yes. it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, wow, the road was just amazing today. And also the views, we had just one good view after the next, after the next, we were totally saturated. It was mind blowing. This is just chilly at its best. This is beautiful riding you can't get better you absolutely can't get better so that's it from us today at the end we did 160 miles and we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below see you next time nom 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 you can never get tired of a pack of instant noodles I tell you there's some peas in there as well okay